Hey everyone, my name's Braden. We're going to go over how to rename columns in a pandas data frame. For demonstration purposes, I've created a CSV file here. The first row contains the column names, and then the subsequent rows after that contain the data. I'm going to open up my Jupyter Notebook here and import pandas as pd. And then what we can do is read in our CSV file. We'll assign it to be df is equal to pd read CSV. So what we can do here is if we don't want the same column names as the CSV file, we can specify names and provide a list of the new column names. So this will only work if we provide all the column names. If you have a lot of columns, this might not be the best solution for you. And we want to make sure that we specify header is equal to one. What this does is tell pandas that the CSV file, the data starts on row index one. Otherwise, it's going to read in that first row in our CSV as data, which is actually the column names. So it would read this in as data. Pandas interprets this as row zero and this as row one. So we'll run this and look at our data frame. So we see that our column names have all changed. This works well for small data frames. However, if we have a data frame with many columns, this isn't the best solution, especially if we're just wanting to change a couple of column names. What we can do instead is after reading in our data frame is df rename and specify columns is equal to and pass in a dictionary with the column name that we want to change. So let's say we wanted to say change one is equal to c1 instead. So the nice thing about this solution is we can change as little or as many column names as we want. We would just specify them here. I'm going to change all of them just for demonstration purposes. And then what we want to do is make sure we say in place is equal to true if we want those changes to be permanent. So here we'll look at our column names of our data frame. And it's important that we spell columns correctly. So here we have the list of our column names and we see that it's changed according to what we specified. This is probably the option that I go to the most. However, sometimes there may be certain sections of a string that we want to eliminate. So in this case, maybe we want to take off the C on each of these column names. So rather than creating an entire new dictionary to change every column, we can use the string replace method instead. What that looks like is df columns. And we'll assign that to equal df columns dot str or string replace. And we'll pass in what we want to replace. So we'll say the C. And if we want to replace it with nothing, we'll just pass in two quotation marks that are empty like this, I'm going to replace it with the word change. So yes, this isn't very efficient because I changed my column names from change one to C1 and then I'm changing it back to change one again. But this is for our demonstration purposes. So and then we'll display our column names again. And just like that, each C has been converted into the word change. So depending on your situation, that might be the better, faster solution for you. If by chance you already had a list of the column names that you want to assign to your data frame, we can easily set those equal to our new column names. So let's just say we had a list of column names, one, two, three, four. What we can do is say df.columns is equal to call names and that will change our column names for us to the new names in that list that we provided. So here we see that the column names have been updated.
there's a slight tweak that we can make to this method above if we have our column names. So I'm going to create a new list of column names. We'll call those first, second, third, and fourth. And I want to make sure that I have my quotations correctly. And what we can do this time is df.set axis pass in the list of names, specify the axis that we want the names to be changed on. So we want the columns to be changed. So we set axis is equal to one. And then in place is equal to true. If axis was equal to zero, that would be rows. But since we want the columns, we're saying one. And if we display that, we see this also works to change our data frame names. And just as a little extra proof, we'll look at our data frame head again, and we see that the column names match there. Some common issues that I run into when I'm trying to rename my columns is reading in the data and changing the column names, but not setting the header so that the CSV column names are actually included as the data. So this example here, I've already written out the code. Um, I'm reading in the data, but I forget to set header is equal to one or whatever row the data starts on. It might be a different row. For me, most of the times my data starts on row one and the columns are on that very first index row zero. So when we run this, we see that the column names here are listed as the data. So we can resolve that by saying header is equal to one because the data starts on row one here. And then we don't have our column names in there anymore. A problem that I used to run into quite often when I was trying to change things in a pandas data frame was forgetting to set in place is equal to true and then the changes that I make don't take effect or are not permanent. So we can see an example of that when we're trying to change our column names here, where we rename our columns just like we should. So this will even show our columns changed if we run it. So C1, C2, C3, C4, just like we wanted, but then if we try and look at column one, we'll get an error here saying that column one doesn't exist. And that's because we forgot to set in place is equal to true. And let's uncomment this just so we can see. And if we run this again, we'll, we won't get that same error. Another little problem that I run into is a syntax error. So here we're renaming the columns and instead of putting a colon here, I sometimes put a comma by mistake. This will give us back a type error set object is not callable. So we can fix that rather easily by just putting in the colon here and we'll look at problem dot columns and we see that that first column is changed just like we specified. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any other questions about renaming your columns in your data frame, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.